I'm Gina Rock, and we're talking about recommended books for college students. One of the things that you're doing in college is expanding your horizons, and your book list should suggest the same thing. Quite often we get stuck with a, a particular genre of, of literature, particularly science fiction, and we need something to kind of throw us out of that loop and get us into some other things and widen our horizons. And so joining a book group is a great idea for widening your, your horizons. Um, a great source for looking for books for this type of book group is to look at the American Library Association's list of nonfiction. Um, they've got um, topics that range from music to um, war on their list. And um, these are nonfiction, and maybe in college you want to read some fiction for a little bit lighter since you're getting so much nonfiction reading in your own classes. But these books are great ones, and they're ones that um, you can join the discussion um, on larger topics. Some of the books on that list that I would suggest would be um, Godel Escher Bach. Um, this is a fascinating book about um, Godel, who is a uh, logician, and M.C. Escher, who is an artist, and of course Johannes Bach and how they are interrelated in a lot of their um, it's very mathematical so if you like math you'd really enjoy a book like that but it's pretty good reading for anybody another one is The Rape of Nanking this is a little known event um, that happened during World War II high, um, overshadowed by the Holocaust but the Japanese invasion of Nanking China was a, a, a devastating period of time with some very, very horrific events. And this is something that I think more Americans need to be aware of.